So here's what we caught today. These sagers, I think I've cooked before. I don't know if I've cooked them before. If you want me to make a and cook of sagers, I can definitely arrange that. But I'm having more fun doing the random species catch and cook. And I caught this new species today in the river. And this is called a moon eye. And they're called a moon eye because of their big eyes they have right here. And they get to like 12 inches long. I think the state record is like one and a half pounds or two pounds. It's not that big. And they just like feed in open water and they eat minnows and insects and crustaceans. And they swim around in schools of the river. Like sometimes they'll catch a whole bunch of them. And they broadcast spawn and usually have 10 to 20,000 eggs in like May or June. And they really don't know a whole lot about them because they're not really a shot after fish. I know from past experience that they're very bony because I have tried eating them before. Where did my fly knife go? We're right here. So I think I'm just going to fry this in butter and pick the bones out of that. So I'm just going to cut down right here behind the back of it. And I know this is a di different cleaning station. The sink where I was cleaning the fish is like clogged with scales, so I can't put any more scales down it. And I know people commented on my last catch and cook about my cleaning station. And I appreciate everyone who watches my catch and cooks. And I got voted by my high school class most likely to do anything for five dollars. That's probably why I'm willing to try all these random fish species. And I show love to every fish species I catch. Whether it's a rough fish or a game fish. And these are definitely not a sought after fish. They do work really good for cut bait and for catching soft shelled turtles. So in this river where I caught this, if you want to catch soft shelled turtles, you just cut some chunks of this off and put it out on a big hook and cast it on bottom. And there's about a 90% chance they'll catch a soft shelled turtle in a 10% chance you catch a catfish on it. But the gold eyes that were like these work really good on the Red River of the North for catfish bait. They're like a oil, more oily fish. So here's the one fillet. Their scales are really scaly, but they like come off everywhere. They're kind of really annoying. And these fish like to live in large, clean rivers, so that's why they're not super widespread. This river where I caught this has plenty of them, though. Like, some days we'll catch like 10 of these. At a different spot than where I was walleye fishing, you know, downriver. And they kind of have a nasty meat, and they're kind of... This one's actually firm because it's from the winter, but they kind of have this grayish colored oily meat. And I'm just taking it off. The, it's not even coming off the scales. This knife might be dull. I'm butchering this fillet. I'm wasting my quality moon eye meat. That fillet. That will definitely make the edit still. Isn't there a sharpener on here? There's a sharpener with this knife. I don't know how good the sharpener is, but I don't feel like getting up and going and getting a better sharpener. So I'm sharpening the knife. Let's see how this one fillets. Holy crap, there's just a mess of scales here. Yeah, that definitely helped. That's how this fillet looks. 
See, it's kind of a reddish meat. It's a little different looking than like your typical fish you'd eat. And you can see that there's scales everywhere. I probably should have cleaned the sockets first before this. I was really frustrated today because I fished for three hours trying to catch the third sogger. I caught two that or three that were a quarter inch short. And I was catching little walleyes one after another. But I wasn't catching any keepers. So we're going to make the Moon Eye Infant Sager today. We have eggs. We have some chips. First thing we're going to do is pack an egg. I'm going to stir the egg up. These fillets are like mush. Look at how disgusting looking these are. Where did the other moon fillet? I thought I had two moon fillets. Those cider fillets. Well, here they are. Here's the two moon fillets. Sprinkling in some salt and pepper. Then we're going to take some old London breadcrumbs. They're seasoned. Then we're going to pour some into here. I'm going to take the fish and dip it in the egg. This kind of some really nasty textured fish. There's going to be some bones in it too, unfortunately. We batter it. Oh, there's one of them. Fish is like falling apart. <laughs> Here the deep fryer is going. Same thing with the stagger though.
Put some tartar sauce on it. Now let's get into it. Hopefully it's not too chewy. Tastes okay. I'm going to put it in a nice little bowl. It's a little stronger flavor. This is what it looks like. The bones almost broke down enough for me just to eat them though. That duck quick play is definitely just flavor. Definitely trying to play with the fish. Mm -hmm. I left the rice on high and look what happened to it. It's like burnt black. I'm going to scrape the salt. That's some well done rice there. Oh crap, that's just burnt. I'll smoke mm -hmm. So this moon eye is edible. It's not the greatest tasting fish. I'm sure it's not as good as this fish is. We'll try some of this sauger. Looks like this. Yeah, that's much better than the moon eye, but still edible.